Learn it. Don't be ashamed or, I'm shy, I'm penied. No. Make money. That's a nonsense phrase. Get it fixed yet, buddy? Okay. Go back. Now, let me show you because it's kind of important. We'll go back to the gold in a second. Can you play it now? In the international stage, Turn up the volume. Of every speaker, coach, author, consultant, CEO that I've met. Because once you speak, when they go home to their home country, without question, without any uncertainty in my mind, their income will go up. Their income will go up. And here's another miracle I found 100% of the time. Their self-confidence and self-perception of what they believe they deserve changes overnight. Because once they have been perceived and proven to be an expert in a foreign market, in foreign newspapers, on a radio, shows are spoiled forever of knowing what it's like to tap into their personal power and achieve something that is much greater than they ever thought possible before. That's what happens with my clients. It is in a total transformation and it's done quickly and efficiently. That's my intro video. You think I need an MC for that? <laughs> it says it all. I'm sure you're great, but you can't do what the power of audio video does. If you want to speak and you're serious as a professional, use an intro video. People like to consume that today. So let's continue. After Donald, remember this, if you're going to write something down, little hinges swing big doors. Small changes make big changes in your life and in the families that you are responsible for. Little hinges swing big doors. My first self-published book changed my life because a book opens the door. It, you are elevated to a perceived expert instantly. Instantly. Who gets the bacon? The person with or without a book. The book guy, the book lady. Whether you're smart or not, irrelevant. When you write a book, you're perceived to be smarter. Out of that, I came up, then I got published by John Wiley and Sons, a New York publisher, the biggest business book publisher in the world. Then it got translated into German. In a niche category, I sold 14,000 books. Yes, you can Google me, you'll see the book. And if you speak German, you can find that one too. Schnell. Oh, actually, Matthias would be able to translate that. It says, Stumi Buchhaufer, whatever. Stumi It almost sounds like a curse word. And it sounded better when he said it. Okay, thank you, Matthias. Octo, whatever that means. My selling career on television started on Home Shopping Network. Who's ever watched Home Shopping Network in the U.S.? Okay, this is where I sold products on live TV to an audience of 5 million people. This was the 90s. Yes, I was younger and more handsome. Shit happens when you age. That's where I got my, cut my teeth for three years I did this. That's called pressure selling. You sell or you're fired. It's not a pink slip, you're fired. You sell, sell, sell. That's where the money's made. But what happens when you start speaking professionally and you have a book, it causes the snowball effect. And I know you Canadians know what a snowball is. Let me explain it to you Filipinos. It's a ball of snow that starts rolling down the hill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it grows. And that's what happens when you speak doors open wide. I have never in 35 years on the platform marketed myself as a speaker. Never had to. I rub elbows. I make connections. How did I get this? I didn't meet Ricky until recently. It started because I know Croy. We met at an event, became buddies. He introduced me to Ricky. Ricky, for some reason, liked me. I got him at a weak moment. He invited me to speak. <laughs> And here I am. I'm the selling speaker who isn't selling today. And then I got more connections, and out of this I've made more gigs. And it just happens. It's a snowball effect. Speaking opens doors like nothing else that I've seen in my life. In my life. 
Here's the Manila Bulletin. I just showed the full page article. That happened. It then got me on. If any of you are already Cebuanos in the house, raise your hand. Cebuanos. Okay, can you read that? Because I can't. But that was on a live TV show in Cebu. Do you know the t you know the station? You're too young. You're a YouTube generation person. Okay. Okay. But it was live Catholic TV in Cebu, and I got in I got interviewed there for 15 minutes because I was already published. I'm a speaker, and they were interested because I was interesting. Be interesting. Getting into the press is easy when you know what to do. When you know what to do, how to do it. Being a speaker is the doorway to financial independence. If you're afraid, get over it. Do what other people are unwilling to do. Get going. Move. This was yesterday. Who'd like to be interviewed by this pretty lady? I certainly smiled. I'm a straight male. Yes. Not too old to appreciate beauty. She was the, the hostess for Chinoy TV. You heard from Alvin, the CEO, earlier today. Got interviewed here. This is nice. Ricky was interviewed. Michelle was interviewed. Several of the other speakers were interviewed. They're going to be on TV. Who liked the idea of being on TV? And this is ABS CBN, is where it gets broadcast through. That's a huge station here in the Philippines, isn't it? Yes. Big time. I've been on it now three times, luckily. So I have a gift for you. Take out your pens. Take out your pens. Who likes free gifts or do you want to pay for it? Uh, Are you going to remember me for Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa? Yeah. You don't even know what Kwanzaa is. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> My gift to you is my first book. I'm going to send it to you. $24.95, but you get it digitally, so it's coming from my gift for you. Now, here's all you have to do. Go to my Facebook page, simply Mitch Carson Official. Mitch Carson Official. My name is M-I-T-C-H-C-A-R-S-O-N. Then you can spell official the official way. All you have to do is like, pretend like you like me, and like the page. Just take the mouse click and write down your email and send me a message saying, Mitch, give me my book. You promised it to me. And I will deliver it to you digitally. But you must like me. Is it okay to get what I give? That's called reciprocity. Reciprocity, the rule of reciprocity. I'm giving you a $24.95 value book. All I want is a like in your email and a command from you, Mitch, give me my book. And I'll give it to you. Fair? Yes. There's something called the art of positioning, and that's what speaking does for you. This is called the despicable salesman. <laughs> In America. He's not even Canadian, he's American. For my Canadian friends, I'm taking you off the hook here. He's not from Vancouver, BC, he's from LA, my hometown. You see a $495 vehicle down there, he's got fake diamond pinky ring, 14 karat knot. Gold chains, probably gold plated. He's got hair that hasn't been washed in a week. And a stale cigar. One to one, belly to belly sales. Despicable. Who wants to do that for a living? I did it one year going through college. I sold Toyotas. Hard job. Hard job. Every day. 14 hours a day. But it taught me how to sell. I prefer. This picture, 5,800 people, Tokyo. My largest crowd was 40,000 at the O2 Arena in London, sitting next to Sir Richard Branson. That was a big stage for me, my biggest. My biggest on that particular time was about seven years ago at the O2 Arena. It's a great prestige. This is probably my second largest in the last 10 years. I was the keynote speaker here and I had an option. Do I want to get my keynote fee of $15,000? Or do I want to have the ability to sell? What do you think I opted for? Sell. Sell. $186,000 that day. Nice day. You can do it too when you know the steps to do it. Who'd like to know those steps? Raise your hand. Wow, this changed from what I first asked. 
How many people are speakers in the room? Now raise your hands. Or potential speakers who are willing to learn about speaking. Willing to, oh, we do have group here. Interesting, Ricky. This was my concern. So you are interested in making untold amounts of money. Yes? Yes. 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 It is possible. So why should you listen to me? I'll show you a little bit. Bang, bang, that's CNBC in Karachi. This was my radio show syndicated out of LA on CBS Radio. Uh, a client and a mentor of mine was Dan Kennedy out of the United States. You may have not have heard of him. He's an author of 40 plus books, marketing legend. Again, I shared the stage once with Sir Richard Branson and the photographer's file got corrupted. I don't have the photo, hard to prove it because I don't have it. Bummer. The late Jay Conrad Levinson. And of course, I shared the stage with the Donald at the point. He wasn't President Trump, he was Donald Trump. No, he referred, he had to be called Mr. Trump. And I said, just go bust my hump. He didn't like me. Bob Proctor, who's heard of Bob Proctor from The Secret? So I've shared the stage with a few people. I've published, I've been a syndicated radio show host, CBS, booking on direct sales in 57 countries in English and Spanish. Anybody speak Spanish in the room? Hola! Okay, that's about it. No, I actually am fluent. We'll talk later. Responsible for over 100 million in sales on television when I was with Home Shopping Network and infomercials, and I've been published in over 1,000 newspapers and magazines. So I've been around the block a little bit. Special speaker I like to introduce. The Tony Robbins of Japan. He's uh, one of my teachers. His name is Mitch Carson. He delivers a message. He delivers a result. He is a result-oriented speaker. He moves people. He makes people do something. He can fascinate people. He inspires people. And uh, there's some kind of magic happening. I'm here to speak in Dubai. Tony Robbins, with, stage manager. And I was finally able to make it. What these guys have pulled together for you, if you're a speaker or you want to be a speaker, is invaluable. It's priceless. Everything that they tell you they're going to do, they're creating. If I hadn't met them, my life would not have changed. My most successful mentee. He introduced me to Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Joe Polish. The top closers, females and males, international position. He took me overseas and introduced me to other top producers. And literally in a fraction of the time, I became known and well received. Since working with Mitch, I've been able Less to value myself as an international speaker and product development coach. It's so rare to be able to focus on me. Working with Mitch allowed me to be able to focus on me and create the assets and get the things that I needed so that I was credible in my own industry. It is so key to not just work with anyone, but to work with someone who is going to produce results, put you in the right place at the right time, and make sure that no matter what, you get what you deserve. Many of my clients have worked with Mitch for three years. He's a genius at finding just the right item and building the right promotion around it. Mitch is so professional. Whatever he does is not just only because of his work, but it comes from his heart. He had multiple nationalities in the room. I mean, people who did, spoke different languages. And what was interesting is that the interpreters were there, all the equipment that was necessary was there. I mean, they really thought this thing out. And then the information that he shared as far as how do you get on international stages? Um, what do you need to do with your marketing? How can you expand your brand to an international audience? The information that he gave was, well, priceless. <laughs> and so here's what I would say. If you're looking to expand your brand to the next level and you want to go international uh, to countries that may not even speak your language, but you want to make sure that when you go, they'll have all the things necessary so that when you speak, the audience gets exactly what you're there to deliver. I suggest that you consider Mitch Carson. He's the person that's in the now. The average speaking fee in the Philippines is quite low. I found out that the number one speaker in the Philippines is named Bo Sanchez. He gets 50,000 pesos. I don't roll out of bed for that. There's the bad news. 
here's the good news for your Filipinos. You all speak good English. Very good English. And you're passionate and you're not lazy people. If you decide to go, who would be willing to speak outside of the Philippines if I told you you would make five to ten times that amount of money? And just say, bye-bye, Bo Sanchez. See you back home in the land of Pinoy's. Who would like that? That is where the international market comes in to play. There's big money. I have produced seven events in Dubai. They print money while they're sleeping. I've made lots of money in Dubai. I've made tons of yens in Japan. I conduct a speaker training that I'm going to be doing in Malaysia next month with Charles. And I sell it for $1,000. That's 3997 ringgit. The same training, the exact same training I produced in Japan, I got to pay a translator, I got to go say boss, for $5,000 US. There are differences in each market. In the US, they sell it for five grand. Australia, six grand. They're willing to pay it. If you've got great content, you already speak great English, go outside of your country. There's money to be made. Who'd be willing to go speak in Japan with a translator and make big bucks? Okay, it's amazing. I had like three hands when I started. I've got your attention now. Because with money, you take care of your families. And isn't that the most important thing to Filipinos? Yes. You are more... Let me tell you how it was in my family in, in the U.S. Real quick, short. Family, my mother-in-law was married 11 years. I saw her twice. And she didn't come to our wedding. That's pretty normal in the States. Not for you folks. It's hard for me to... Wow, they actually want people to come over. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be with their families. We want to run. I left the house at 17 out of choice. It was normal. My mother put her foot on my butt and said, out. Pretty normal in my culture. So what happened to my presentation there, bud? Hello? Are you there? Okay. All right. So I have to ask, what makes you stand out? What makes you stand out? I have cut commercials sitting on a crocodile. That is not Photoshop. I got accused of that once, and then I showed the croc eating something. That changed. That's for real. This isn't Chiang Mai. It is possible in a crocodile farm. Who'd sit on a croc with me if they'd already eaten? Guarantee they don't eat Filipinos. I promise you they won't. They only eat locals, and they're really prejudiced. Be extraordinary. Oh. Take photos, shoot videos. This is inside Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in Bangkok where I live. I live in Thailand. Anybody here Thai? Sweaty cop? No? Okay. <laughs> so I shoot videos and do different things. You know, you have the exotic opportunities. Do what it takes to stand out. I'm going to show a short segment of what speaking has done for me. While I was in Dubai two years ago, I got interviewed by CNBC what I thought of it as being an American of Donald Trump winning the election. And at the same time I said, I'll do that for you if I'm able to record using your mic and if you'll air this in conjunction with my interview, I'll appreciate it. And this was the one minute interview I did with them. My name is Mitch Carson and I'm here because I put on events all over the world for international speakers that want to expand their brand, to get their name out, to grow through the use of media like CNBC and newspapers, magazines, so they are at the forefront of their mind. Because most people, my idea, my objective is to get people to look at themselves as the expert in their particular category, their field as a thought leader, a guru, an expert, whatever they use to describe themselves. So when somebody thinks of a particular topic that they're interested in finding, they only think of them and them and them as one, two, and three. All of those positions are going to be locked into the mind of the consumer. Okay.
just a few shots. These are some of the events. This is on the Dubai Marina with Dubai and Demand TV interviewing my people. Who've ever seen Japanese Arabs? First of a kind. I created a new breed of people. They got dressed up. Some of my clients from Tokyo. So the question is, do you want to be on the bullet train? The fast train to success. Who likes the fast train? It's incredible. In Kyoto, taking it to Tokyo Station, you get there and you wake up refreshed. Or do you want to go the old way and sell one-to-one -one with a smelly salesman? Bad body odor. Oh, it is your choice. And ladies and gentlemen, speaking is, and webinar selling is the best. Oh, would you be interested if I put on a full day workshop, what is called a preview at a later date here, to explain this in more detail? Because my time's up. I have nothing to sell you today. Raise your hand if you'd be interested in learning more from me. We'll schedule that at a later date, okay? Be a tiger. Be a tiger. There is a mouse. Get rid of it. I have two words for you. If you have a low self-image and it's bothering you, some people have already heard this, but I'm going to say it to you as a crowd. If you have anything that is pushing you into self-doubt, I have two words. Listen, listen, stop it! Be a tiger. Roar. Be the person you always want to be. My name is Mitch Carson, and I am done. Thank you. Standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen, for Mitch Carson.